Okay, so I just wanted to make a short supplementary video uh, clarifying a few things about arrays in C uh, because it seems like there's a lot of general confusion. Um, we've talked about it a good bit, but I understand how people have gotten stuck on certain concepts. So we'll just walk through it a little bit so that you have this as a reference to come back to if you're confused. So something I want to really hammer in on in this topic is arrays are pointers every time, every, every single time. It doesn't matter what the syntax is. It doesn't matter how many ways you have to do it. It doesn't matter how many ways you have to allocate memory. Arrays are pointers. So the way that you should, the correct way, if you are writing a program and you want to allocate an array, basically every single time you want to do this, uh, unless you have a special reason to do it a different way, is you should call malloc. Should call malloc. This will allocate the array on the heap, uh, and that's how you should do it. I think a lot of students got caught on me talking about a different syntax for arrays on the first day of class as a demo. And I regret doing that because I think it's caused some confusion. You can declare an array like this. You can. Uh, these two have a lot of similarities and a small number of differences that make a big deal. Uh, first off, this x and this x, they are both arrays. They're both arrays. You can do x 4 equals 3, it will do the same thing, okay? They're both arrays. You can even assign this x to this x. You can do uh, int y, int star y equals x, uh, and this will work. This will work. You might have to cast it, but it will work and it will do the right thing. It will do the same thing. The difference between these two is that this x, which I'll politely call x1 and x2, x1 is allocated on the stack here. If this is main, then this goes in main stack frame. x is here. You get 10 elements, or x2, sorry, x2 goes on the stack frame, on the stack. So you'll get data here in the stack, you'll get 10 elements of stack. Down here in the heap is where x1 goes and you'll get 10 elements down here. The memory is shaped the same, the memory tastes the same, the memory smells the same. It's the same, the layout is the same. They're the same. Uh, however, there are a few catches here. One, the stack is limited size. Uh, your stack can only hold an array so large. If you don't know how large your array can be, you don't want it on the stack. If you try to declare an array that is too big for the stack, it will let you and your program will promptly crash. Uh, so you want to pretty much always use malloc because you don't have this space limitation or at least that space limitation is more like the number, the, the amount of RAM your system has and not the, the default stack size is something like one megabyte or two megabytes. It depends on your, your system. You can make it larger, but you just shouldn't. It's just better to use malloc. It's portable, it will always work. Um, so the stack size is limited. You can only do this for so many things. Uh, I think that's really the biggest reason. If you don't need any other, you know, that, that, this justification alone is why you should use malloc. Uh, the second thing is if you do this and you give it a variable, this is allowed in modern C. It's not allowed in old C. Uh, this requires some fancy 
compiler plus runtime support to make this work. It's not great. Uh, it it's not really different than it. Can, it basically works the same way Malloc does, except it still gives you stack memory. So it is just as slow, and it has a size limitation. And you have to check in to make sure it doesn't overflow your stack. So just don't do it this way. It's just Unless you know exactly what you're doing, you know exactly how large your array can be, don't do it this way. It's dangerous and it's very error prone. Uh, a second thing that I saw that is getting people into trouble, in your assignment, you probably have something like this. And what you're asking for here is an array of strings. So what you get is an array of character pointers and then you malloc uh, you know, you'll, you'll malloc this guy equals malloc, you know, char star, you know, times five or whatever. You get something that looks like this. And then for each string, you malloc something that is size 128. Okay. So for each one of these, you'll call malloc and point to your actual string. So this might point to, hello, etc. cetera. Uh, this is a 2D array, uh, and it is a 2D, you know, dynamically allocated array. All the pieces of this are dynamically allocated. Uh, that's okay, but, uh, and, and this is generally fine. This is actually kind of what I recommended you do on your assignment, this works fine. The big advantage here is you can swap these pointers around to sort, okay? Uh, or you can, do, without having to make a copy of the string, you can pass that you can move these pointers around. It's a very efficient way to do your assignment. Uh, this is different than, let's see if we have space here. This is different than doing char bracket, or sorry, it, it, that's not actually correct. Char um, array bracket bracket. And this is what we tended to see uh, from some students. You'll have something like 128 in here. You'll have something like lines here. Uh, this causes a lot of different problems. Uh, first off, this looks like an array, like, like two array pointers. It's not. It, this type is not char star star. This type is actually just char star. This is not really a 2D array. This is a 1D array. It lets you do magic to treat it like a 2D array. You can use a 1D array like a 2D array, uh, but under the hood, you get one big chunk of memory, no pointers. So your strings will just run together. You will have something like this. Um, your strings will just run together. That's not an inherently bad thing if you know what you're doing, but um, in this case, this usually just led to people having trouble uh, and having to make a lot of copies of strings. So, uh, and you cannot treat this like a 2D array. If you try to feed this to QSort and tell QSort that this is a 2D array, it's going to get really confused. Um, or I guess, well, your function has to know what it is. And your function is probably really confused because you've treated this like a 2D array and it's not in actuality. Um, okay, so... Um, and by treat it like a 2D array, I'm referring to this structure where you have pointers to each string. This, these pointers to each string is what is so important for your performance. Uh, so uh, this format, and we'll talk later in the semester actually about how this works. It will come up in a later project, um, how you treat a 1D array like a 2D array but uh, we're not going to talk about it right now. But I wanted to point out, you should just use malloc. Malloc goes on the heap. The heap has a much larger size. Allocating on the stack is dangerous and sometimes expensive. It will cause you problems. Just do malloc. They do the same thing. 
Uh, I think that's really all I have to say about that. Again, we'll talk more about this later, but just if you take nothing else away from this, arrays are pointers, use malloc. Use malloc. This is the most important thing about this. This will save you a lot of headache for the rest of the semester if you follow these rules. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good one.